Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you uh, or uh, show you how to customize or configure a kitty. Uh, kitty is a terminal emulator like uh, something like Alacrity or any other terminal emulator. So let's uh, get started. So first of all, you need to install kitty. Uh, Use your package manager, of course, and just do sudo, whatever your package manager is, and install kitty. Okay, just type kitty and install it. As you can see, I already installed it. So, let's open kitty. Let's go to another kitty, see if it how it looks just type kitty this is the default config for kitty let's zoom in a bit when you fetch okay that's too much okay let's uh, get started on configuring kitty because this one this thing looks ugly a bit, it looks nice but it's not what I want so let's start uh, configuring it okay let's first of all we need to create a configuration uh, directory or and a configuration file for kitty let's see the dot config and mkd make a directory called kitty I think file already exists okay let's uh, see the into kitty all right, let's, well, that directory doesn't have anything, so let's do vim or just touch and kitty dot config. Just type dot conf and that's good. If I list again, and let's open that. Okay, as you can see, we have nothing. So now let's start uh, typing stuff. Okay, the first thing we want to do is uh, to configure the font. Okay, just yeah, in the website they tell you how to do it. So just type font and family. And the font that uh, you want to use, uh, in my case, it's terminus. You can use whatever font you want just make sure you type it correctly okay so let's do italic and dash font because I want this one to be auto not okay let's do the other one which is uh, bold and italic like italic and font and want it to auto because I don't want this to cause any issues with the font so and of course we want the font size and uh, let's do 18 or maybe 16 let's do 16 okay I think that's it for the font. Let's do team. Uh, of course, there are there are other ways to team uh, Kitty, but I'm going to use the, the simplest way. So the simplest way is just to uh, put some colors in here and come make uh, Kitty use those colors. Okay. Just uh, an example, I'm going to use my ST as the colors for uh, foreground. And I'm going to use this uh, this color. I'm going to show you. Let me sh show you. Let's open I think dot files and suck this ST config H and let's go color. Okay, let's use these ones as you can see 
I'm going to use the foreground, which this this is one. This one, which is like uh, white. F8, F8, F2. Let's use this one. F8 and F2. F2. Okay, and background, background. I'm going to use the black. Okay, as you can see, this one is black. And uh, one more thing, because I like to uh, highlight URLs uh, in the terminal, so I'm going to give them a, a specific color. Just type URL and color and type the color that you want the URLs to show up in. And let's do D65 and C0D. Okay. Just to make the URLs show uh, in this color. That's okay. Let's go for the cursor. Let's do cursor. Let's do cursor. And let's do a color for the cursor. Let's make it maybe green, a bit green. So a little bit. Okay. And let's uh, use the colors to team our. Uh, Kitty terminal. Let's and next um, I miss color and I'm going to use a background or a um, uh, background opacity and underscore opacity. Opacity and let's do zero point six six zero or sixty and I'm going to use my ST's color this zero color did one two three four till fifteen and let's let's get those colors I Copy them earlier, so let's do a download. I think yes, and SD. I think it download. And SD colors. Okay, I did this for these colors. So, and let's copy them. And let's paste them in here. As you can see, you can uh, choose whatever colors you want. Just make sure they are they show up correctly. Okay, let's save and let's uh, quit out of here and let's let's just open Kitty again. Okay, as you can see, this is the old one and the new one. Okay, let's do ls to list and as you can see if I do ls as you can see this is the old one this one and the new one is this one with the green cos cursor and my ST's uh, color scheme okay let me show you ST this is ST as you can see the font is different because I I have a different font for ST and I choose another one for Kitty. Okay. That's uh, great. You can change the font if you want. You change the colors, the background color, the, the opacity. And let's, uh, let's uh, close this because that's Kitty. And let's change the opacity just so I can show you. Let's change this to 80 and save and open kitty again. Okay, as you can see, the, the opacity is a bit more dark. Um, 
it's not like ST in here or the original kitty okay okay as you can see this if I open H top it's the same across the Okay, let's close ST. Let's close Kitty and close the original Kitty. And let's save and exit this one. Let's close this one and open Kitty again. Okay, this is Kitty, and that's how you configure Kitty for just a simple configuration and not nothing too too complicated or anything just install kt have a configuration file and you can add uh, uh, anything you want to it just uh, read the documentation on the website and you should be fine okay this is it for this video thank you for watching and goodbye